here I'm going to be doing my makeup. I'm actually like doing it like kind of properly for like the first time in weeks. Um, so that'll be interesting I suppose. And I thought while I was doing it I would give like TV show recommendations um, because obviously we're all inside, or we should be anyway. I have my little book here. So here are all the TV shows and then I've also colour coded them. Why am I like this? We have five different categories um, that I just grouped them in because I thought that would just be easier. Um, so we have like adult slash teen like drama shows. We have um, spooky stuff, um, sitcoms and family friendly things, competition shows and then shows that are 18 plus because it got you that age one in. You know. Also put a little heart by my personal favourite ones and a star by ones I think are underrated. I'm just going to moisturise first before I put my foundation on and my primer. I literally just went to put the lid back on. The first category I'm going to go for is adult and teen dramas. Those are my personal, like, that will be my category of choice. I've tried to do like a variety, um, but that is like my overall favourite, that's what I like always kind of gravitate to. The first one is Pretty Little Liars, I have all of them on DVD um, and you can also watch it, at the moment you can watch it on UK Netflix, um, but I think that's going away soon and I don't think it's on American Netflix anymore because it's going to be on HBO Max. I think Pretty Little Lies is about um, a group of four girls, Aria, Emily, Spencer and Hannah and their friend Allison goes missing the summer before the like show starts and um, Aria moves away and it basically starts when Aria comes back um, and then they all start getting these anonymous messages from A um, basically like threatening to reveal their secrets and stuff. I'm going to use the Colourpop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. Uh, the second one is Gossip Girl, another classic I feel like if you watch teen shows then you definitely would have seen Gossip Girl and if you haven't then you definitely should because you'll love it. The foundation I'm going to use is the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. Gossip Girl is about rich kids um, on the Upper East Side, um, like private school kids and basically just about the drama they get up to in their day-to-day -day lives. The kind of main focus is that there is this website called Gossip Girl and everyone kind of gets updates and alerts and they can send gossip in and like secrets and stuff for her to expose. That I watch on Netflix, um, I think it's on Netflix in the UK and the US um, and I think that'll also be on HBO Max when it comes out and then um, I have all the DVDs as well. Again, you can get them super cheap. The concealer I'm going to use is the Essence Camouflage Concealer. You always see like Pretty Little Eyes, Gossip Girl, Grace Amy, all those. But I feel like 90210 is never in there and it should be because it's absolutely quality. So it basically just centres around um, a group of teenagers that all go to West Beverly High School. Um, and they're all just kind of rich because they live in Beverly Hills. But you get like... There's like hierarchy, yes, yeah, some that are richer than others. Um, and again, it's just about like the drama of their friendships and relationships and just being teenagers in that kind of environment. It starts with Annie and Dixon, who are from Kansas. They move um, to Beverly Hills um, because their dad is becoming the principal of the school. And there they meet like, you get Silver, who's kind of like quirky and... Um, kind of like the rebellious type and you have a Naomi who's the like it girl my favorite character I love her and then you kind of see a glimpse into like the adult's life as well you get like the teachers and like older siblings and parents and stuff so it's got like a really good mix and then I've got one that I actually started watching this morning um it only just came out on Netflix it's called Dare Me and it seems really cool. The blush I'm going to use today is this orange one. I think it's called So Retrograde. Um, it's one of the Kathleen Colourpop ones. Um, and then I'm going to use the Private Party, I think it's called. Um, bronzer contour as well. It revolves around this cheer squad at this high school. Um, and I kind of don't really know anyone's names either. The coach is called Beth. Um, and she's new. That's like when it starts. Is she joins... 
and she's kind of like stepping on the head girl Beth's toes. No, she's called Beth. I don't know what the coach is called. She's called something else. But yeah, so the coach comes in and she's kind of like stepping on the head girl Beth's toes a little bit. Um, and the main characters are these two best friends and they're both on the cheer team and they're kind of like bitchy that like you kind of don't know whether to like them or not. Cause like, like one, one's definitely nicer than the other, the head girl Beth. Um, and yeah, it just kind of seems to be about the drama of that but based on the trailer it seems to get a lot more like intense um and kind of like darker so it is definitely on the darker like side of teen dramas but it looks really interesting i'm kind of just going to put these all into one but it's like the cw shows katie keen riverdale and sabrina because they all take place in the same universe um obviously riverdale is again another high school one that's almost kind of like a true crime type situation it's quite like dark and like mysterious and um then sabrina is the same it's more um fantasy and like magical based with like witches then you have kate keen which is the complete opposite if you watch my channel then you know that i love kate keen because i review it every week um kate keen is very feel good it's about um just like a group of friends who um all have different dreams you have Josie who's actually from Riverdale she wants to be a musician you have Jorge who wants to be on Broadway um, and he's also a drag queen and yeah Pepper who's like entrepreneurial um, who wants to start this like business gallery art building thing um, and then you have Katie who is played by Lucy Hale who's also in Pretty Little Liars um, and she wants to be a huge fashion designer so yeah it's just really good it's really uplifting um it's got a lot of like lgbt representation just feel good there's songs in it next is degrassi degrassi slays okay i love degrassi i got into degrassi next class degrassi next class is on netflix um and i absolutely love it again it's kind of a similar concept um it just follows these teenagers um as they go through high school and just kind of like the trials and tribulations of that next class is on netflix because it's a netflix original i think or it's like a collaboration one so that's on netflix but all of the episodes of degrassi are on youtube you can literally just watch them for free the highlight i'm going to use today is from the jordan lipscomb i think is how you say her name um x beauty bay palette this is the trooper one i think yeah, um, and I'm going to use the lighter shade, this one here. The next one is Grey's Anatomy. I I feel like people, I feel like Grey's Anatomy is almost like a meme. Like people are like, how is it still going? Like how is it still on TV? It's been on forever, it'll be on forever. And that's because it's good, okay? Blew me eyebrows now. I watch it on Sky. It's on like Sky Atlantic, I think, or Sky Living. And it's also on Amazon Prime. I think everyone knows what Grey's Anatomy is about at this point but it's a hospital drama um that just centers around the doctors and um patients and everything at hospital called grey sloan and yeah it's just really good you know there's like relationship drama and stuff but also the medical side of it is really interesting my last one for the adult teen drama bracket um is chicago fire so my personal favourite one for the teen adult genre is Pretty Little Liars just because it has a special place in my heart I will just love it forever but Chicago Fire is down as my underrated one I feel like I never see anyone talk about it but it is so 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 good it's so good um, um, I watch it on again I think it's that like same channel that's like Sky Atlantic or Sky Living it basically follows um, firefighters in Chicago and you get to see like their rescues and all of that stuff but then obviously you get to see their friendships and their personal lives and their relationships but it's just such a good show it's so emotional and just like move over my eyeshadow i'm gonna use a combination of the soph extra spice palette and the um 
trooper palette next we're gonna do the spooky ones i only have two for this the first one is scream i feel like at the time when this came out i didn't see much about it it's a netflix original um and yeah obviously scream are the iconic horror films from the 90s it takes it takes like, a similar like concept of um ghost face terrorizing a town and all the people are in high school and it takes that like typical um horror movie trope and brings it to tv and they're very self-aware and they make lots of like jokes the whole point of scream when it came out was to basically make fun of the horror films that already existed like it wasn't like a full-on parody like scary movie <laughs> um but it's just very self-aware and knows of like that it's using cliches and stuff so that kind of carries over into the tv show and it follows um this girl called emma who um is like about her and her friends and her mom and how she is linked to this killer um and that's kind of like the big plot is like finding out who they are and why they're after emma and, and yeah that's on netflix um and then my second one is also on netflix um also scream gets my underrated and my favorite because it's so good um and then the other one is haunting of hill house um which i feel like everyone's seen by now but if you haven't then you should because again really really well made um and it is spooky and like genuinely scary it's more um scream is like slasher killer all that stuff whereas um hill house is paranormal and spooky and ghosts and spirits and all that side of it supernatural um it's really really good it follows this family who used to live in this haunted house and basically how that house has affected them and changed their adult lives and it's um, a mixture of seeing them as adults and then also flashbacks to when they were kids living in the house next is like sitcom and family friendly obviously you can't mention sitcoms without mentioning friends um i have all the dvds um my dad used to watch friends well he still watches friends but like he loved friends as well as his favorite shows as well so i've been watching friends for years and years and years um and it's one of those that i just go back to it's like you know just like a feel good one it's not I don't know like it's not like hard to watch or anything it's just easy light tv to just put on and kind of forget about stuff um so it's really good for that you can watch that's on uk netflix i don't know about us netflix um and then i think it's going to be on that hbo max thing as well but they show it all the time on like comedy central and channels like that my personal favorite from this genre is full house full house is just my baby i love it it's about this dad called danny danny tanner and he has three little girls stephanie michelle and dj um and basically his wife passes away this sounds really sad but like it's not a sad show um and so he gets jesse who is their uncle um to move in and also his best friend joey from when they were kids it basically revolves around the three of them trying to raise these three girls and it's just such good wholesome family fun i absolutely love it um it's also i think a really good one for like being in lockdown when you don't want to watch anything too intense it's just so much fun really sweet but also really funny as well like genuinely funny and yeah it's really really good um and then also fuller house is like the sequel to full house all those the kids now that they're older as adults and they're all like mums and stuff um and that also is really really good another um one to watch with the fam is modern family um as it suggests in the title another great sitcom it follows just this like the whole idea of extended family um so you have like i suppose you have jay who's kind of like the link between everyone um he's like the dad granddad and then you have aunts uncles 
kids, grandkids, like nieces, nephews and everything. Um, and it's just a really, really sweet show. The next one is just childhood shows in general. I didn't list any specifically, but obviously with Disney Plus now, um, some of my favourites are Wizard's Lonely Place, Hannah Montana, um, Drake and Josh and I Carly and like those Nickelodeon shows. They still do reruns of those. And I think some of them are on Netflix, like Taurus is on Netflix. I have my old like Hannah Montana box set. Like, oh my goodness. But yeah, now they're all on Disney Plus. Good luck Charlie as well. Another great one. Um and I think content like that is like I don't know, I feel like it's like nostalgia is such a nice like feeling and just like makes me like happy and I feel like a lot of people experience that as well and as well you know content like that is no is low stress like if you have anxiety or you know you're worried about this whole thing content like that is just good to take your mind off it like I don't think you have to be a kid to watch it and it's also like genuinely funny as well like you know you watch it and you're like actually this still this still holds up this is hilarious and then the last one is this like documentary series thing um on netflix it's called well there's, i think there's a couple of them um there's like the toys that made us um and the movies that made us my two like favorite ones um and it's basically just that they go there's like one on Hello Kitty and it's just really really interesting and educational um, and again something that you could like watch with the whole family um, it's really just really interesting but that one was my underrated one because I feel like I don't really see people talk about it a lot but I definitely recommend it and then my favourite one was Full House competition shows i feel like this needed its own like bracket <laughs> these are all ones that you could watch like with the family as well in terms of like food ones um on netflix you have nailed it and zumbo's just desserts which are like completely opposite shows so on zumbo they are people that actually like make desserts every day um and it's like serious competition time um they make the most amazing desserts on there and it's just um it's just really cool like the stuff they make on there is amazing they're so talented and it's basically to find the best dessert maker on that show and then nailed it is the complete opposite um so nailed it is people that can't bake and know they can't bake and then they give them these elaborate things to make and it's just hilarious like there's some of the stuff that comes out of this show um so yeah you got like completely two different ends of the spectrum there um and i think zumbo would be my underrated one just because again i feel like people don't really talk about it that much but it's really funny and really just good wholesome wholesome content my personal favorite is bake off Maybe just because I'm British, I don't know if I'm biased, but I love Bake Off. Again, Bake Off is no stress, you know. It is just family, sit down, watch people bake, have a good time. MasterChef US, I love that as well. Any kind of cooking show, I'm like, I'm all about it, basically. And then I've got like a couple of fashion ones, so there's two. So next in fashion is Netflix, it's like one that they do, um, it's hosted by Tan France and oh my God, Alexa Chung, um, those two are honestly just the best hosting duo ever, um, and the show's really really good, it's, they get designers in and, um, they're basically competing to, um, make their own line I think was the prize it's just done really well and it's really high production and some of the designs are just so amazing like these people are so talented and then the other one is making the cut which is like Amazon's version of that basically um, it's the exact same like concept they get designers and they fly them out to Paris and 
place like that and they do the runway shows and then someone gets booted off every week and on making the cut they get like a million dollars or something it's crazy me and my parents are watching this show called Forged in Fire where they make blades um it's like a bladesmith contest um and basically every episode you get four people and they battle it out until the final round and they make some um weapon from history um but it's just really interesting it's just something like a little bit different um that you don't usually see and i don't know it's pretty cool the last genre bracket whatever you want to call it is 18 plus so obviously don't watch these shows if you are not of the appropriate age to watch them um just because obviously there's like you know i'm not gonna like get graphic about it but there's you know just kind of like graphic imagery you know you know we all know what i'm talking about i'm gonna start with my personal favorite which is shameless if you've never seen shameless it is amazing i've not seen the uk version i watched the us version um yeah the us version is on netflix um we yeah for us it's on netflix it basically just follows this family who is very dysfunctional um has a lot of problems going on um i think fiona's the oldest and she's like 20 i think she's like 20 something early 20s um and then the youngest um is like he's like two um and it's basically just about their kind of like crazy family life family dynamic all the stuff that they go through um and it is just so so good it is so emotional it's so dramatic funny it's sad um and happy like it's just a perfect blend of everything you could possibly want it is such 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 a good show next is sex education it states it in the name um it's basically about a school it follows these kids um in what we would call secondary school like sixth form um but i guess high school in america um and it's basically just about them kind of exploring their sexuality um and all that kind of stuff all those complicated things that come with being a teenager and puberty and all that stuff and i think it's really it actually is educational like when you watch it um and i think a lot of people relate to it and kind of see maybe things that they have struggled with in it and it's got great representation great diversity um it's really funny it's really dramatic it's just really really good really really good um and that's a netflix original that one's on netflix you as well 18 plus um because it is quite gory and um stuff but it's really really good it's basically about a guy called joe who falls in love with this girl called beck and how he basically stalks her to be involved in her life and kind of orchestrates everything that happens um it's all he's like the puppet master um and it's really interesting really shocking really dramatic like you kind of can't guess what's going to happen in it one of my other personal favorites but I've put it down as underrated because I feel like I don't really see people talk about it is Good Girls Good Girls is amazing that is also a Netflix original and it's basically about these three mums um, who kind of all have different situations with their kids kind of come from different backgrounds um, but they all band together um, because they're having money problems and they decide to rob this convenience store um, that one of them works at and it is so funny um it's again it's really heartfelt um and really dramatic but really really funny i watch it and i'm shocked and i'm or i'm laughing or i'm crying like it is so so good um so that is one i really really recommend russian doll as well is really good um that's got um if you watch orange is the new black then um you'll recognize her um but it's basically about a woman who wakes up on her 30th birthday i think it is um and she's at this party and um i can't remember how it happens the first time but basically she dies um and then she wakes up again in the bathroom at the party and it's like groundhog day um every time that she dies she starts in the same place again 
um and i can't really say more about the story without like spoiling it and giving it away but it's so so interesting it's such a like weird kind of complex um concept and it's at times it's kind of hard to wrap your brain around but you're also like oh my god like when it all starts to click together i literally just kind of like smudged a red lip just like in the center and then I'm going to use the gloss by Jeffree Star um, and Shane Dawson. And Dead To Me is another really good one. Um, great cast in that one. Um, loses her husband in a, um, a hit and run. And um, this other woman like tries to befriend her at this like grieving... Uh, um, this like grieving support group it's just kind of about how their friendship develops and um, she starts to realise things that kind of don't really like fit well stuff about her husband stuff about this new woman that she's met and it's really yeah it's really well written and it's I could not guess what was going to happen like the whole time um and it continued to surprise me the last one on my list is the stranger i feel like that's one that a lot of people have been talking about at the moment it's about this woman um the stranger um who basically just goes up to people <laughs> and blows up their life um she will find someone and reveal a secret to them maybe about that she knows about them or that she knows about someone else in their life um to basically just start this whole chain it basically just starts this whole chain of events um and again super dramatic super it's really well written and really um like there's so many plot twists and so many oh my god what was that wait what so this they you know this person and this is what what is going on here um and right till the end it kind of had me guessing it's such a crazy concept and just a really original idea i thought so yeah that is my entire list of tv show recommendations for your lockdown viewing um i hope you like this video if you've seen any of these let me know in the comments um, what you recommend if you have any recommendations for me that I haven't seen yet. Um, I'm currently re-watching 90210, that's my one at the moment. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next video.